Hey, it's me. So right off the bat, you may notice Something's missing. I've cleared off the entire shelf back here. Got rid of all the squishies. Why? Where are they? They're dead. I killed them all. No, I'm just kidding. I ate them. <laughs> they're over there, and they're there because this is the last video of the year, and I'm gonna be holding on to tradition and doing the same thing that I did last year, and I'm gonna rank all of the squishies that I've created this past year. So I'll be bringing them on camera one by one. I'm gonna go from my least favorite to my most favorite. Also, just to give you guys a heads up, I'm not gonna be posting next week, which is the first week in January. I think this is the first Friday I'm not gonna post in like two years. I've posted every single Friday, even when I'm sick, even when I'm tired. So hopefully my channel doesn't die. So much talk of death today. I just wanna take a week to relax, no big deal. Uh, I'll be back the following week. Unless I die. I'll be back January 10th, be there. If you're not caught up on all of my Squishy Makeover episodes that I posted this year, I'll link a playlist so you can see all of them together. If you wanna get caught up first before you watch this video because there are gonna be spoilers. So, this list covers the 13 Squishy Makeover videos that I've done this year, which makes 41 Squishies in total. Okay, let's get into this. Let's start with our biggest loser of the year. Number 41 is this thing. I hate this one. I've always hated this one. It's uh, downright ugly. It's some type of ugly donut thing. To be fair, this was part of my three color challenge, so like, I didn't get to choose the colors, I didn't get to choose a squishy. This is not my fault. One down. 40 more to go. Number 40, this is my fault. <laughs> this one is actually far uglier than that, but it beat out that donut because this one actually does have some redeeming qualities. Her hair is really cool, her outfit's really nice. It's really just the face region that we're having issues with. I was complaining about the eyes and like the lumpiness on the skin the most. A lot of people said that the lips were the biggest problem. Honestly, I don't know. It's all bad. I hate that face. And this happened recently too. Oh. Fun fact. You may notice that her skin is a slightly different color. After the video, I actually went back and repainted it because I thought that it might help. It didn't. I really want to throw this away, but I spent so much time on it. I'm tempted to just cut her head off. Number 39. Another victim of the three color challenge. I think I somewhat liked this one when I made it, or at least that's what I told myself. Um... Looks like something really creepy that you see in an antique shop. I actually forgot about this one completely until I had to like dig up all the squishies for this video. And I saw it at the bottom of the bin and I'm like, What is that? Who did this? Oh, that's right. That was me. I did it. <laughs> it's just, it's freaking weird. I'm gonna put you on this side. Number 38, my bare bread cookie thing. There's actually no big issue with this one. I just kind of threw this one into one of the videos. It was really quick and simple and... I never really connected with it. It's just unremarkable. So it ends up landing pretty low on the list. Here, have a cookie. Number 37, another human. This one wasn't the same tragedy as I just was never really gung ho about the human squishies. I'm just not a fan. I did the best I could, but he's still kind of creepy. I've yet to see a really cute human squishy. They just end up all looking really cool. creepy. Number 36. Ooh, this is actually one that I like. You may be surprised to see this one so low on the list because there's really nothing that I don't like about it. I think it's really cute. It's just, it just doesn't make my top like this is very similar to stuff that I did last year and I'm not overly excited about it. Uh, goodbye, baby. Number 35 and number 34. I'm gonna be keeping all of the pairs and sets together for ranking just for simplicity. This is the lowest set on the list, so I guess this is the losing couple. I named them Jolly Jelly and Peanut Bitter. I think they're cute and I like them. Just uh, not my favorites compared to some of the other stuff that I've created this year. No, we can't split them up. Number 33, the last remaining human squishy. Thank God. I actually do kind of like her. 
as much as I'm ever gonna like a human squishy, I think I like her. I really like her outfit and her colors. I wanted to give one of my squishy people a somewhat decent spot on the list, so she can have number 33, that's, that's fine. Maybe you can actually stand in front of her. There we go. Number 32. So I think I actually liked this one quite a lot when I first made it, but since then my liking for it has kind of gone I just don't like it as much anymore. When you squish its face a certain way, it looks like Barney. So now I kind of associate this with like a creepy children's program character. But then again, it's got like a really cool rainbow on it. The rainbow keeps my liking for this still alive. It's like a flickering flame. Number 31. This is my dessert bear bread. The only issue that I really had with this one was there's something about the toppings, the arrangement here that it just doesn't please me. It didn't come out exactly as I was envisioning, but I still think that it's cute. I'm not mad at it. Number 30. This one is actually pretty. Okay, we're getting to some of the better ones now. I actually wasn't super crazy about this one at the time that I made it. You guys really seem to like it though. The glitter, the metallic, it's all very nice. It's soothing. Number 29. This is another one that kind of grew off of me. It's the opposite of growing on you. Grows off. At the time I made it, I thought it was like super cute. I'm not as much in love with this as I was originally. Meh. Granted, all of these start out busted up, broken, dirty, disgusting, and so all of these, with the exception of maybe one, are better now than they were to start out with. Number 28. My Calico Cat. He had a pretty major uh, tail repositioning operation for obvious reasons. Many people were pointing out that all calico cats are females, so it doesn't make any sense for him to be a male. But that's actually not true. Calico males do exist. They're just extremely rare. So he's just very special. I didn't do that on purpose. I actually just didn't know that. <laughs> number 27 and number 26. This is like the 2019 version of my birdhouse and my bird, but instead a cottage and a human. <gasps> I said that there was no cute human squishy. I lied. But I think it's mostly because it's in a bunny costume, so. The house squishy was one that actually came from Bill Gates. And I got this back when we were renting somebody's basement. Living in a basement got a personalized message from Bill Gates. <laughs> What the heck? So this kind of holds a special place in my heart. The little person, uh, on the other hand, is just random. He did cause a big debate in the comments because I thought that the original Squishy was a bear in a bunny costume and many people disagreed and thought that it was a koala. These are the kind of controversies that we have on my channel. And I still disagree. It was not a koala. This is what a koala looks like. Notice the vertical nose and rounded ears. Yes. And this just happens to come in at number 25. This is my little koala ballerina. I really like this one actually and you know what she gave the performance of a lifetime so bravo number 24 oh i love this one oh it's so hard to rank these they're my children this was the only good thing that came out of the three color challenge why do i want to do that again now number 23 is Georgie! I just did this one and it features one of my current obsessions, Georgie. I think that this one is so cute, I love it. The only reason it's not higher on the list is because I do take into account like how much time and effort these things take. And this one was pretty simple to do in comparison with what's coming up. Speaking of squishies that were an insane amount of effort, number 22. This one showed up in devastation, honestly. It was such a mess. Oh. I'm pretty sure whoever sent this, they had to have done it on purpose. They destroyed it just for me, so thanks for that. So this took a lot of work to revive this one and fix this one up. Most of the time I'm pretty open to criticism and it's like whatever, say what you will. But every once in a while, there's one that I've just worked so hard on. I just don't even wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. I don't care. Don't you say anything. This was one of those times. Number 21, number 20, and number 19, my tea set. I feel compelled to mention that this set created one of the most awkward tea parties of all time. So that was lovely. This set got a lot of criticism. I mean, don't get me wrong, a lot of people really liked it, but there is a fair amount of people who really just did not like this because the tea color isn't accurate enough. 
most of the time I'm pretty open to criticism. And the other reason I kind of predicted in advance, it was that I didn't turn this into Mrs. Potts and Chip from Beauty and the Beast. There was a decent amount of people that were like legit angry about that. You know, I'm just as much a fan of Disney as anybody else, but this is where I create stuff. I'm trying to exercise my creativity here, okay? Do, 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 do. Speaking of not doing Disney designs, it's Winnie the Bee. These transitions are just working out way too well. Number 18. This is my honey bear bread with a honey bee on top and a cat hair on top of that. The face of the bee unintentionally came out like Winnie the Pooh, so I call it Winnie the Bee. That was by accident though. I love how I'm not actually putting them on the shelf where they belong, I'm just putting them here for some reason. Number 17 is a very similar concept as the one that I just showed you. It's a themed bear bread with a little character on top. And actually, this character also unintentionally looks like a well-known cartoon character. Clifford the dog, ringing any bells? Wow. These are basically interchangeable. This one is weird, but I really have an attachment to it. I don't know, something about it I just really like. Number nothing, it's Pickle the Dinosaur. He's not on the list because he's actually a 2018 squishy. I just wanted to bring him up because this is a new plushie that is made based off of my Pickle the Dinosaur squishy. And I just wanted to remind you guys that I have a pre-order open for this lovely guy. He's so sweet and soft, he's so sweet and soft, he's so sweet and soft. He is gonna be available for the month of January. So I wanna make sure that everyone knows who wants the opportunity to bring him into their household. Also, Pickle the Dinosaur has just been like so well loved and kind of like a mascot of my channel for the past year. So I feel like we should mention him. It's been a good year, buddy. Okay, number 16. The Stern Sloth. You may be wondering how in the world does this random sloth make it so high up on the list? This guy, really? This guy is who we're putting at number 16? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, how did he make it so high up on the list? I don't know if it's just me. I just really like it. I relate to him. Number 15, my dessert taco. I have to say, this is one of the most appetizing looking squishies that I've ever created. It's so good. <laughs> I just want to eat it. And I can tell you that this actually does taste very good. How do I know this? Because I took that bite right there. No, because I actually featured this in one of my baking videos and I made this in real life and it's amazing. This is just great memories for me right here. I love this one. I guess I'll start putting them on the table. I don't know. Number 14. This one just came out so freaking sweet and cute. And for some reason, I feel like when I did the digital version of this one, I liked it more. It stirred something in my heart. The wreath thing is still pretty weird, but I think that just makes her unique and she's beautiful. Number 13, number 12, number 11, and number 10. Oh boy! It's the chicken family. I made a completely dedicated video for these. It was just full of drama and twists and scandal. It was a really fun video to make, different than any other makeover video that I've done before because there was like a storyline and also they're just adorable, so there's that. I love how we call this the chicken family and we ignore the fact that two of them are actually ducks. <laughs> Number nine, the planet squishy. This one, ooh, ooh, ooh. I love this one so much. This is another one that's like really special and unique. It holds a place, you know? I was really obsessed with this one at the time I made it. In fact, I remember thinking I'm never gonna make anything that I like as much as this. It's only number nine, so obviously I was wrong. Number eight and number seven. Eustace and Shelly, these are too much. It's animals, it's desserts, it's creepiness, it's attitude. They're very cute together. It's everything that I love. All bundled and I'm obsessed with these two. So there's that. <laughs> Number six, number five, and number four, the polar bear family. This is just an amazing little family right here. I just completed the newest member just recently, and I think I just really love sets of things. I just think that they're so cute when they're all together. <gasps> Although technically, Alfred was done in 2018, so he shouldn't even be here. Shoot, I had 40 
one squishies total. You're the extra one that I didn't even need. He only ranked number 14 in last year's ranking video, but when they're all together, they come in at number six, five, and four. With the support of your family, you can go so much further. But anyway, number three is my under the sea cake. This one is just fantabulous. <laughs> Ew. The process for this one was really fun and came together so well and I'm so happy with it. I feel like it was a lot of creativity that went into this one and like how to make it under the sea theme using just random bits and pieces of squishies that I had so I don't know I feel like Could I bake this? <laughs> what have I done? I just burned my face! best to keep practicing. Number two is my grateful monkey. I may be a little bit biased because I just did this one so it's like so fresh and recent but oh my gosh. I think that my love for this one is going to last. I just really really freaking love this one so much. I was a little bit worried about the feedback I was gonna get for this one because the bow is a little over the top. It's a little much. I get it. There were some people who hated it of course. But actually, I think most people really, really, really liked this. She does have some scarring on the back of her head from her past life. It just tells a story, okay? So I saw quite a lot of people who suggested like, oh, you should have put the bow on the back of her head to cover up the scar. And, oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I really like how this looks all together from the front. Also, I forgot to name her. I feel like she needs a name. She's freaking adorable. I love her so much. Okay. Number one. Actually, this is a set. It should count as two. The Pope takes a poop and the president too and the fancy pants banker in Crap! Did I miscount? Wait, what the heck? How did that happen? Um, these are the winners. That's the point. That just made this whole thing very anticlimactic. But again, the biggest squishy of the year wins. But this one actually doesn't win just because it's huge. I really, 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 really like this one. I put so much effort into this one. This little character is so freaking adorable. And the way it all goes together, I just love it so much. I was so over the moon excited when I made this one and the appeal still hasn't really worn away. I still really like it. So this is the winner of the year. This was a fun video to make so many memories and I just want to thank you guys for being with me this year. It's been fun. It's been a great year and I'm looking forward to creating new stuff and still going ahead with squishy makeovers but also all of my other series that I do here as well that are just as important to me. So I hope that you guys are ready for a new year and I will not see you next Friday but I'll be back the Friday after. Bye!